What is up everybody? Welcome into this new video of TechFress. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use the Photopea.com. So this is a great and amazing um, application. If you wanted to use Adobe Photoshop and you don't have the chances to get uh, Photoshop because of the prices or whatever. So if you head down into Adobe Photoshop, uh, it's going to be appearing the price is going to appear in the light version uh the site and the uh the, the prices of course i mean we, you, you can try adobe for for a period of time but at the end of the day if you wanted to work into adobe photoshop the uh, application is not going to be available after the free trial downloadable uh version that's the reason why photopia is working because uh, the actual process is exactly the same so if you know if you already know how to use photoshop you will use photopia in a very easy easy way we'll understand in a very easy easy way so what we wanted to do is to go into photopia.com and as you can see i don't have to create an account i don't have to do absolutely anything but if you wanted to do that you can go into the upper side it says account and you have the free version and the premium version. Now the free version is going to be helping you to have all the features of the Photopea plus a P drive up to uh, 500 megabytes, which is um, like um, half a gigabyte. But if you have the premium mode, we have the P drive up to five gigabytes. There's no ads. As you can see, there's actually no ads, but since I'm using another browser, I am not enabling ads at the moment. Here should be appearing the ads. We have two x more steps in history so it's going to be uh, working much more faster and the quick email support so you can pay for five months uh five dollars per month if you want to check it out the actual premium version so let's go ahead and look out for a new project i'm going to go for new project and here as you can see we do have a lot of templates that we can start on i'm going to use something really easy like an entity story and then i'm going to head down into the background white i don't want to use and now, as, as you can see, we do have the feature, the window, all of the elements, the plugins is looking, the graphic is looking just like a Adobe Photoshop. So into the left part, you do have, you do have all the tools that you can use into Photoshop. For example, let's say that I wanted to delete all of these elements. Let's say that I wanted to get started from scratch. So I want to delete all of those. Um, then I'm going to hit here into down here. So as you can see, we do have the mask option, we do have the adjustment layer, we have folders, and we have new layers. So I can choose this option, I'm gonna delete this part, and I can double click my layer so I can change them the name of my layer. So I'm gonna choose background, and here I'm gonna go for object number one, and a new one I'm gonna type, uh, let's go for degranded. So here into the background, I choose this option and check it out that we have the history boson. Down here, we do have the, uh, how it's gonna be looking the filter, the opacity to fill, and I wanted to focus into the low part. So here into the background, I'm gonna be focusing into this gradient tool. I just uh, left my mouse there and I changed that for a paint bucket tool. And I changed this color. Uh, instead of black, let's choose something a little bit more yellow like this and hit into OK. So once again, for those of you guys who have already used Photoshop before, uh, you might see that it's going to be really, really easy to use Photopea because the um, all the elements, all the essential graphics, it's actually the same here. So I'm going to cut into object number one and hit into object number one. You can choose, let's say, for example, the brush tool. I leave my mouse though and I go for brush tool. And here I want to choose pen and I select from one place into another one and this is what I'm starting to create this layer so basically what I'm doing here is just to use the common basic elements of Photoshop that of course it's available into Photopea so I wanted to let's say do something like this I hit into the right part and I go for um, I'm going to leave it like that actually. I'm going to go into the degranted and I'm going to choose the same color. So I'm going to hit into OK. I'm going to choose this option so I can change from another color. And I choose exactly the same color but a little bit more brighter. Let's say like this. Let's say like this and this later on I choose this next color. 
So instead of choosing the paint bucket, I choose the gradient tool and I go from one place and I go from the left to right. So there we go. This is how it's going to be looking. Now, instead of choosing the normal layer, the normal uh, the solvation, let's go for darker or color burned. You wanted to choose different colors. It can be helping you to make this look like we are uh, doing like a background fund for your iPhone, actually. So let's head down into Lighten or into Screen, actually. I'm going to leave it like that. And here, this object, if I choose Control, now I'm going to head into the T mark. I hit somewhere around my 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 design and let's go with trial boson or I'm just gonna hit into my background I hit into plus I double click here and I wanted to change the color if I want to change the color of my text I go into the upper part I hit into black color and now I want to change the font so here we do have font available we didn't have to install absolutely anything. All of those fonts appear um, as I pre-saved it already into the photo PM. So I just needed to head down here into move. I choose my text, which is actually this one. And then later on, I wanted to move this like that. My background. I can change, of course, the size if I want to. Let's say like this. There we go. I move this a little bit down. And then later on, we can even import images if you wanted to. What I want to do is to go into a new tab. I wanted to look for something shape PNG so I can choose something really, really easy to the internet. Just as so you guys know that we can import wherever almost any kind of images. So I'm going to use this one. I copy it and I paste it here. Or obviously, what I need to do is to uh, create a new layer. Let's go for object number two. Here I can go into paste just as Photoshop will allow me to do this. So there we go. So lastly, what I just need to do is just to leave this like that. And there we go. Now, if I wanted to save this file, I'm going to hit down into file, hit into saved more or export as and here I can choose a PNG, GPG, MP4, GIF, whatever you want to do. Even we can save this as a PEZ file. PEZ file is going to be um, the file is going to be working only exclusively for Adobe Photoshop. And that means that if you wanted to use a file that comes with Photoshop that you created with Photoshop, you can import that using photopia.com. Once again, we didn't have to buy or subscribe to any kind of um, trial version or whatever. We just go and start to work right away, which I think is really, really easy to use here in the PM. So uh, with that being said, guys, I think we can all cover the basics. You now know how to work with photopia.com. Um, so don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you don't want to see more amazing applications where you can start to work totally for free. We just save a few dollars into the Photoshop uh, version. So uh, Photopea is actually really, really uh, great for all of us. So thank you once again for watching the video, guys. And with that being said, I'll see you on the next video.